welcome to the great backcountry bathroom adventure. To the poo place. Hey, pit toilets. I am taking you to three of the best backcountry bathrooms in all of Washington state. Oh. This is incredible. This is too grand of an adventure to make just one video. So I'm actually making a three part series where I'll be visiting three incredible backcountry loos over the course of a single week. Three bathrooms, one week. Each bathroom more beautiful than the last, starting today with Gothic Basin. Here we go! Are you ready for this? I sort of wish that I had to poop, you know what I mean? This is my show, gosh darn. Bitch was ready to go hiking. So let's get started. <laughs> One of my favorite poo, poo puns is poopertunity, which is like when you have like an appropriate opportunity to take a poop, it's your poopertunity. Gothic Basin is my favorite hike in all of Washington, and the basin itself is absolutely beautiful. And the backcountry privy is supposed to be a real stunner. Let's go check it out. so awesome like how dense Washington forests are, you know? Fred! get that once. God, I love this hike so much. Ooh, it's getting beautiful up in here. Look at this mountain. Look at this water. Look at these trees. I love it. I feel like when we first started making Miranda Goes Outside, Miranda the Wild back in the day, I uh, didn't expect to be the poop lady. Like I didn't like set out to be the person who talks about pooping all the time. It's sort of like become my calling. I feel like my entire life has led up to this week of visiting the best backcountry bathrooms in the state, maybe the country, nay, the world. So I'm really excited to see this backcountry bathroom in all its glory, surrounded on all sides by gorgeous peaks in a beautiful alpine basin. I'm excited to give this backcountry bathroom the moment in the spotlight that it deserves. Berries, these are salmon berries. Man, wouldn't it be funny if that wasn't a salmon berry and I get like diarrhea? Well, it'd be appropriate. It would be, right? It would be poopropriate. <laughs> appropriate? We had the rolling, beautiful forest, and now the climb begins. It's always harder than I remember. Uphill is never easy for me. But one thing that's true about me is that I am a slow and steady hiker. I will get there. Where am I taking a minute? Oh, so much up. This bathroom better be worth it. I am complaining, but I love this hike. <laughs> Just so much up. It will all be worth it when we see the privy. This is when it really gets good. Ah, Papa Blizzard! Golly! Look at the wildflowers! These little purple ones, little yellows and white ones. We have just come to this incredible scree run that has water cascading all the way down it. Our trail actually stops here and continues on the other side of this chasm. Oh, I'm so psyched to get up there. We are almost there.
little further. We're almost there. You're almost there. Hiking forever. Let's get to Gothic Basin. If there is a Gothic Basin. Remember all those 9,000 times I said we were almost there? This time, we actually are almost there. The other times I was wrong. But now, now we're really close. We're like feet away. All right, well, we uh, had a bit of a plot twist here. We just passed by a group of Washington Trails Association workers who were doing some maintenance on the trail. Outside, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for all the work you're doing. Yeah. This is like one of my favorite hikes. We were just talking about the bathroom that's up at Gothic Basin. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's being dismantled. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. Sad. All right, do you happen to know when the yeah. toilet's getting dismantled? Yeah. It turns out that the backcountry bathroom up at Gothic Basin actually fell apart in the snow this year. They told us it's actually been dismantled and is no longer there. After all this talk of backcountry bathrooms, I'm not really sure what we're going to be walking into or up to. I don't even know if there's really going to be a bathroom up there at all. Hopefully there's something. Look, at this point I'd even go for like a porta potty. This is not over. We're still doing this hike. We're still getting all the way up to Gothic Basin and we're still gonna at least show you where the toilet was and is going to be because it is going back in. All right, we're almost there. Welcome to beautiful Gothic Basin. I'm hot. Also, the, just like the sheer amount of butt sweat that I created was like alarming. We're gonna take a second to kind of soak in the beauty of Gothic Basin, but then after a short break, we are going to go to where the backcountry bathroom used to be. Huge thank you to the WTA for all of the work that they do to maintain these trails. We have seen so many signs of trail work leading up to Gothic Basin here. I'll put a link in the description below where you can go ahead and donate to the WTA to help them kind of fund these projects to put backcountry bathrooms in all the popular places around the state. <laughs> Brief break here at Gothic Basin, and then we'll go check out the remains of Washington's third most beautiful backcountry bathroom, RIP. <laughs> There's a banana peel over here, y'all. This hike was actually a lot harder than I remembered it being, and I got so incredibly sweaty on the hike up here. So once we got up here, I was really proud of um, last night, Miranda, who remembered to pack some Element in a water bottle. What I did is I filled this Nalgene halfway up with water and one packet of Element grapefruit salt, which is another one of my favorites. And then I put it in the freezer sideways like this. When you wake up in the morning, you'll basically have like an electrolyte ice cube that is frozen on just one side of the bottle. You fill the rest of the bottle with water and as that Element electrolyte ice melts, you then have really nice cold water with electrolytes. There's a pro tip. I just got so sweaty and so dehydrated on the hike up here and like really started to crash. And as you all know, Element is amazing because it really helps me like stay hydrated and avoid migraines, avoid muscle cramping. But I also really love it because it tastes really good. That's definitely the biggest bonus. If you haven't yet tried Element, you can actually go to the link in the description below. That is drinkelementy.com slash Miranda goes outside. You place an order there, you can actually get a free sample pack of all of Element's eight flavors. I'm gonna chug this, and then we're gonna go check out this back into your bathroom. There are all of these little tadpoles. Look, can you believe that they turn into frogs? Right now they're just little swimmy sperms. There's little beans with tails right now. Look at them, look at them go. I like that they're, they're like tadpole tails are like blue de blue de blue de blue. They just like wibble wabble their way through the water. You're so cute. Oh my gosh, love you tadpoles. All right, folks, let's get to what we actually came here to see. We are gonna go check out the Gothic Basin backcountry toilet, or at least what's left of it. Let's do this. Follow me to the poo. <laughs> I 
this is it. We are right around the corner from the toilet. As you can probably see behind me, there are just boards and pallets and just the remains of a backcountry toilet. We're gonna get a little bit closer to it, but there's people that are working up there right now from WTA. Ready? So there's a WTA trail crew that's actually up at the remains of the toilet that was here at Gothic Basin, disassembling it and taking it apart. So we've come down here to give them a little bit of space to do their very important work. What's left up there of the Gothic Basin backcountry toilet is the remains of the structure and then also the actual like toilet hardware itself. And it's not just like a normal pit toilet where it's just a hole dug in the ground. And it's not obviously like a flushing toilet where you have plumbing and everything. This toilet is actually really unique. It has a area where you poop that diverts your urine elsewhere. And then when you poop, you're actually pooping onto a conveyor belt. You push this little foot pedal and that foot pedal carries your poop along this conveyor belt and dumps it into this big like white bucket that can then be carried out by helicopter when it's full. So a helicopter cost me like 400 bucks for a sightseeing tour, <laughs> but my turds get to go for free. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's hard to explain exactly how cool it is without like seeing it. But luckily, Rainer took an absolute ridiculous amount of B-roll footage of the poo conveyor belt. Cue montage. The WTA crew that's up there right now is working on dismantling the remains of the old toilet, but this is actually a project that's managed by the Department of Natural Resources. Even though I didn't get to see the fully constructed backcountry toilet, this was actually even cooler because I got to see the inner workings of how these systems are created and built and maintained to make it possible for hikers like me to have like a comfortable pooping and bathroom experience. Tons of engineering and ingenuity went into creating these backcountry toilets. Appreciate them, love them, use them. <laughs> Someone from DNR has actually designed a new toilet with a more snow resistant structure that is due to go in soon. And it uses the same system of the poop conveyor belt. Once that new toilet is built, this will be the view from your poop. Now we decided when we created the series and that we would create a rubric by which to judge these toilets, a, a poo brick, if you will. This poo brick judges the toilets based on the view, essentially the vista that you get when you are actually physically using the toilet, the privacy, how much you know security and privacy you have while you're pooping, and then the aesthetic as well as the access to these toilets. Now obviously this one is disqualified. I can't fairly judge this toilet, although I am excited to come back and see the new one once it is constructed. I, I do feel like this toilet here at Gothic Basin deserves some kind of award, so I am awarding it the toilet with the most potential. Or the most potential? <laughs> the poop puns just write themselves. This is actually just the first in this series, and I have two more amazing backcountry bathrooms coming to you this week. If you liked this video, the next one is going to be even better. If you aren't yet subscribed to our channel, make sure that you subscribe and you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the notification of the next video, which is coming out in just a couple of days. And as always, if you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button and I will see you outside. See you soon. Excuse.